Hey guys, Andrew here for Bulls and Arrows. This is Forgiven Rival. This is Sim, Pete, Joel, Andy, and Lee. Is that right? That's correct. Say good day, guys, to the camera. Good, good stuff. Good day, camera. Beautiful. So these guys have been together for, for quite a while now. Five, five or so years, something about, like that. About four and a half. It's getting there, yeah. About four and a half. What, Joel? What inspires you to be in this band? What inspires you to write music and to play, play, perform live? Well. Um, for starters, these guys, they kind of were the ones who made me want to play music yep. growing up in uh, in high school with them and stuff. I mean, not these two because they're, they're new, but mainly these guys, we kind of started writing. <laughs> the ringians. So, so, yeah. <laughs> On my left. Started writing with them, yep. um, I guess, a few years ago before we uh, released This Is A Wall. Mainly just as friends, kind of. We just wanted to play music and it brought us into the band. And then uh, it kind of went from there just to have fun with it, really. Yeah. Kind of wanted to obviously just jam at Sim's house and then play as many shows as possible once we had enough songs to play a set and mm. stuff. And it just went from there. I kind of do it just because I love it. Yeah, great. <laughs> and writing songs is, it feels good when you write a good song. Yeah, cool, man. And to play some to play it to people and if they enjoy it it's like the best feeling ever so yep. so Lee on the end I'm just gonna ask a quick question he's pretty new to the band he's only been in the band a couple of weeks so being bring new, you've kind of got a different perspective on Forgiven Rival having just sort of stepped in okay so what's attracted you to, to play to, to, to accept the offer to play with this band and what do you hope to pot potentially achieve and, and help these bands to do well basically when they first asked me I thought Initially, I was just like, oh, you know, I'll go down and have a jam and see how it goes. And you know, if it feels right, then obviously, yeah, you know, it's it's a way to go. And they're all pretty cool guys, I guess. So. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, he had to good. slip in the I guess. <laughs> I heard that too. Don't worry, Sim. Uh, and, pl and uh, plus, all the like the music that they're starting to write now, or that we're starting to write, is pretty much where I want to go. So great. It's just seemed like the right thing to do. Nice aligning of musical interests and yeah. goals. That's great. Sim, the drummer, sponsored by Zildjian Roulette and Vic Firth. They're uh, drums to tell yeah. Vic Firth. Fantastic. If I may. So a well-respected drummer, drummer for Given Rival. Right from the start, you're the original drummer. I am. You are. This Is A War is the name of your current album. Yep. What's The War? The War is, well, all the lyrics for the album were written by our old guitarist, Adrian. Yep. And um, most of the lyrics on that album were sort of a a battle of sort of good and evil and stuff that mm. he felt in his heart and stuff and I guess it was all um, pretty much God related and stuff like mm. that and it's sort of a, a battle of how to live your life between um, you know trying to be as good as you can and falling into the the path of just your everyday guy and all of the lyrics of the songs tie into that uh, name of the album yeah. and um, in one of the songs, uh, track five called "We Are All Soldiers," yep. um, there is a there is a lyric itself that says, "You know, this is a war, mm. and it's something that we're fighting for." So yep. that's how we came up with the name, and yeah, we're all pretty happy with it. So Pete, Forgiven Rival clearly has plans. What are they for about for about the next six months? What are you sort of looking at, hoping well, to achieve? Hopefully, in the six months, well, we're, our plans are to take over the world eventually. <laughs> that's fair enough. Yeah. Year in the next year. six months. In the next six okay, months. Okay, cool. So we've got a bit of time. Yeah. No, but uh, well, we currently got a new guitarist. Yep. And not so long ago, a new bass player. Um, so we're kind of, I don't know, trying to get together and write some new songs for yep. a new album to hopefully record within the next six months. We recently recorded two new songs um, as a bit of promo for upcoming album, you know, the direction we're going in with yep. the music for the new stuff. Yeah, and we also, we went to Canada at the start of this year um, yep. to play Canadian Music Week and we're hoping to um, get back there again next year. We've applied to play at the festival and our managers also applied for us to play at South by Southwest and stuff, which should be cool and we have the potential of going to uh, uh, Las Vegas as well and playing there with some the crusty guys, the motorbike guys. Oh, yeah, yep. We've come to be pretty good friends with them, so yeah, hoping to get over there and play for them as well, so should be good fun. So Joel, you guys have completed a, a tour with Haste Day, have they been we heroes did. of yours or...? They have, yeah, yep. we were um, 
pretty excited to hear they were even coming to Australia again. They've yep. been to Australia twice to play at the Soundwave Festival. Yep. And then uh, we heard that they were coming to do like a, a headlining tour. Hmm. And I was just stoked to hear that they were coming and we were yep. going to go and watch them. And then um, we got a phone call from our manager saying that we got the whole support for the national tour, awesome. which was pretty sick. Yes. Like How many shows in total did you do? I think it was about eight, eight That's or nine. Great. To be on tour with them was like the best tour we've done. Yep. Um, kind of playing in front of three or four hundred people yep. every show um, in places we haven't been before as well. Yeah. Sure. Um, and to meet the Haste of Day guys, with it, they were amazing dudes. So I just um, twist one of these guys' arms. Um, actually, I didn't because they're pretty much all bigger than me. Uh, that's cool. And they told me some interesting news that they're, they're not sure if they're allowed to tell me or not, but Sim's going to say anyway, by the time this hits in the internet, we should be in the clear. Give us the good news, mate. Well, I'm pretty happy we've made a bit of a sweet deal with a record label in the States called Indianola Records. Fantastic. Um, and they've released Data Remember and Evergreen Terrace. and. Um, they have decided to release our album This Is A War over in the States, which is pretty cool. So we have a live scoop for That's Bulls cool. and Arrows with Forgiven Rival being signed to Indianola. So these guys are Forgiven Rival, uh, touring hard, working hard, current album This Is A War, lots of stuff in store, overseas releases, lots of tours, a tour in February I heard one of you guys say, is that around Australia? Yeah, we're, um, we're releasing a new single in December Yep. and uh, hopefully touring will we'll be, we'll be yep. touring. Uh, end of January in, and February, so beautiful. Hopefully, see everyone around Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. So make sure you check out myspace.com forward slash forgiven rival and um, stay connected with these guys. Bulls and arrows. Andrew signing off. Woo.